liberation, down, down with deportation. Up, up with liberation, down, down with deportation. We came here when we were young. This is basically our home. Houston Dreamers took to the streets Thursday, calling for new legislation. I want the government uh, to uh, do justice to all the 800,000 youth immigrants like me across the country. I think it's only fair that the Lettos uh, live in peace and dignity for once. Damaris Gonzalez is one of many who relies on DACA, the Obama-era immigration program granting protections to undocumented people who came to America as minors. They're often called dreamers. The policy will be shut down by the Trump administration in March 2018. Field organizer Oscar Hernandez says they're rallying for a new dream bill, specifically without add-ons. What we mean is the DREAM Act uh, uh, legislation that does not include uh, incarceration, deportation, militarization of the borders. That this is about how do we make sure that people who have DACA are protected without having to um, criminalize our parents and criminalize other undocumented immigrants. There's a list of politicians they want to sit down and talk to. Here in Houston, we have Culberson, Cornyn, and Cruz, who have a direct impact and a voice on whether or not DREAM Act gets introduced and implemented. Hey, Congress, listen up! We want a clean DREAM Act! On this day, they're outside Senator John Cornyn's office. He was away in D.C., but we reached out to his office, and they responded with a statement. Quote, these children who were brought here illegally through no fault of their own continue to make positive contributions to Texas and other nations, and it's important for us to achieve a long-term resolution. Hey, Corbin, listen up. We want a clean dream act. Hey, As the final deadline to reapply for DACA passes and we get closer to a new year, the pressure is on Congress to decide what happens next. But DACA recipients like DeMaurice won't be passively waiting. She says there's too much at stake. When I was a child and when I first migrated to the United States, my family and I had it really hard. Now I have a stable job. Um, I can go to any school of my liking if I wanted to. For me, it means to be fighting for not only for my dreams, but for the dreams of all those dreamers across the country. We demand a clean dream act and we demand it now. For Houston Public Media, I'm Tamika Weatherspoon.